This video is about Germany's new Eastern policy. The new Eastern policy was a foreign affairs policy of West Germany from 1969 to 1973. As a result, the Federal Republic of Germany signed several treaties with East Germany, the Soviet Union, Poland and Czechoslovakia. Important, of course, was the German Chancellor, at the time it was Willy Brandt, but also important was his friend and colleague Egon Bahr, who was massively involved in formulating the new Eastern policy and negotiating the aforementioned treaties. To the background, it was the height of the Cold War, the East-West conflict. There were two German states, as mentioned, the Democratic Federal Republic of Germany and the Socialist GDR in the East, a satellite state of the Soviet Union. West Germany claimed to internationally represent all Germans, including the Germans in the East, because the West German government was the only freely elected one. But the people saw the coexistence of two German states more and more as a given reality. And there were only a few who were still dreaming of a unified um, German nation. On an international level, more and more countries recognized the GDR, and that was, of course, a problem for the West German um, foreign affairs policies. The Eastern Bloc was economically underdeveloped and dependent on Western technology. Years before Brandt became Chancellor, he and Egon Bahr presented the fundamentals of the new Eastern policy under the slogan, Change Through Reproachment. During the 1960s, the claim to sole representation uh, was watered down. And then in 69, Brandt became Chancellor of the Social Liberal Coalition. And now the uh, new Eastern policy could uh, take effect. The New Eastern policy said there's only one German nation, but two German states. And having two German states recognizing the GDR means the claim to sole representation has to go overboard. The GDR should have been an active partner in the East-West peace process. And both states should aim for disarmament and work together in the Conference of Security and Cooperation in Europe. Now, the first diplomatic event was the summit of Erfurt. Chancellor Brandt met Willy Storff, a high or uh, leading politician of the GDR. There were no, not any notable results, but it was a symbolic act. The first treaty was then signed in Moscow. Germany recognized uh, Poland's or the Nice Line as Poland's western border and recognized that the inner German border should not be violated. But the German delegation handed over the letter on German unity, and this uh, stated, the treaty does not contradict the goal of the Federal Republic to seek peace in Europe, in which the German people regain their unity in free self-determination. The next highlight was the Treaty of Warsaw. Now, the Germans and the Poles signed more or less the same what was signed in Moscow before. In the meantime, before power agreement, secured the freedom of West Berlin. A few more treaties followed, um, mainly regarding traveling to the GDR and the transit to West Berlin. Now, from a German perspective, the basic treaty was the main treaty um, signed, and it stated that both countries will engage in the Conference of Security and Cooperation Europe the German border should not be violated, the national jurisdiction is only within the own borders, and the independence of the other state will be respected. And, very important, um, representatives were exchanged, kind of ambassadors, not uh, named ambassadors, but kind of so dialogue could go on between the two German states. Both states became members of the UN, and the last treaty of this period was then the Treaty of Prague, recognizing the existing borders between the Federal Republic of Germany and uh, Czechoslovakia. Now, those, of course, uh, the results of this policy were benefits for West Berlin and the long term for the people in East Germany. And as we just mentioned, and a dialogue was established between the East and the West, between the Germans um, and the East Germans, the West Germans, the East Germans. 
And now Germany had an independent or more independent policy towards the Eastern Bloc and was less dependent on their Western allies. But also, this strengthened the German division and therefore an evaluation with regard to the German reunification has to be ambivalent and can't be conclusive. That was the new um, Eastern policy of Germany in five.